And now our top story. There's encouraging news about the Indian economy. The government says the economy is likely to grow by more than 7% in this financial year. And it could have been much better if the agricultural sector's performance had been more robust. Haris Usman breaks down the numbers for us. Strong growth in manufacturing and mining has propped up hopes of a strong performance by the Indian economy. The government says the Indian economy is likely to expand by 7.2% this year. That's half a percentage point higher than last year's growth of 6.7%, but still short of the Reserve Bank of India's revised estimate of 7.5%, and much lower than the finance minister's hope of touching 8%. Normally we see when the uh, final numbers come out for the fourth quarter, third quarter and fourth quarter, is that there is an upward bias in the advance estimates which are presented. And we are sure that this time also the same is going to uh, happen. The real surprise in the numbers came through in the agricultural output projections, with farm output expected to contract by just 0.2%, much better than what was feared given a dismal monsoon. The manufacturing sector is also looking strong and steady with growth forecast at 8.9% compared to 3.2% last year. The construction sector is forecast to grow by 6.5%, as opposed to 5.9%. Mining is likely to grow by 8.7% compared to just 1.6% last year, while electricity is expected to grow by 8.2% compared to 3.9%. The only disappointment perhaps came from the services sector, where growth may dip to 8.7% compared to 9.8% in 2008-9. However, the dip in services can partly be attributed to the base effect due to the sixth pay commission arrears handed out last year. Another reason is the falling average revenues per user or ARPUs in the telecom sector that have been taken into account for the first time. India has clearly turned from the downturn. Of the 20 G20 20 countries, 17 have had zero or negative growth. Let's remember that these numbers are still estimates. So while the government might have to partly base its decision on whether to withdraw the stimulus or not based on these numbers, 7.2% growth is neither exceptionally strong nor too weak. Hence, many experts feel that it may be prudent for the government to wait a little longer before it starts withdrawing the fiscal stimulus. In New Delhi, Haris Usman, NDTV Profit.